What a glorious day it is, guys. Welcome, welcome. So, we are doing more work on the new studio set. I just got back from Home Depot and bought uh, two things of drywall. All right, and then I know nothing about I know nothing about drywall. Okay, so since I know nothing about drywall, I had to watch a YouTube video and figure out uh, what did I need it to do. So, yeah. So on top of buying that, hang on. On top of buying that. I had to get some other things. I had to get all-purpose joint compound and then I needed to get a sponge to drywall sand it and you had to get tape, finishing tape or joiner tape, whatever you want to call it. And then last but not least, I needed a spatula or two to apply the stuff. So that's my supplies it was a, another forty dollars so so far i'm at two hundred dollars or so into the project about two hundred bucks which that ain't bad considering what i'm trying to do uh, it would cost me a lot more you know um but i don't i i have a razor and i'm not really sure how to cut the drywall so we're going to we're going to try to do this wall i'm gonna do this one first this wall here because it's the easiest so we'll go with that and yeah so let it begin here we go Crap, man, I uh, I gotta flip it, it's the wrong way. Ugh. Crap. I don't want to, uh, I don't want to mess up the corners. The corners of the drywall is very important for us. You know, we don't want to mess it up. So that's the way it is. And I got a bunch of crap down in here. All right, and I want it to sit right in the corner like that. like that and then the other piece will come in and fit there um, I'm going to have to get I'm going to have to take another piece of wood or something because you see this when I put this flush there's a, a space right here that I don't like I can probably take one of those over there and nail it to this and it will because it's, it's just the end of one of these boards and it's the same thickness. So it'll fill it in there and it'll take that, that space out. So I think that's what we're, uh, I think that's what we'll do next. So let me, let me set the camera down somewhere. I keep trying to find good spots for y'all. It's, it's hard to do that when you're not set up properly for any of it. So anyway, I guess I'll put y'all there. One thing I would have to say about this GoPro is that it gets very hot using it. Um, so I hope this comes to y'all right. So, all right, we got our first piece in. It looks good. 
I'm going to go ahead and grab the secondary piece and try to bring that in so that way I can, uh, well, so I can go ahead and do the top part. And that should be loads of fun. So I'm just going to set you all there while I go and get it. I remember to pick it up the right way this time. I just gotta do a little whoop and swoop kind of deal. Whoop. Uh. All right, we're whooping. We're swooping. Oh shit! Really? Damn. Hello. What's up, man? Not, I'm filming a YouTube video. Oh shit, my bad. No, what's up? Are you on your way on your way here? Uh, yeah, that's what I was going to holler at you about, man. It's taking a little bit longer than I thought. I was going to say how long you was going to be at the house. Oh, I'm not going nowhere. I'll be here. All right, I'll see you. All right. Okay. Later. Alright, so, anyway, uh, I may need to shut the garage door for this one, guys. I don't think the drywall is going to fit. I didn't think about the drywall being, well, that's the wrong one. Okay, so what I was trying to do is that when I put the drywall up, it was hitting the garage door, so I had to drop the garage door so that way I can put the second piece up. So let me try to do that again. If I can get it up there, oh man, I got a big old nail that's hanging out right there. Shoot, man, it's just one thing after another. I swear, project after project. Oh no, it's too tall. It's way too tall. It's like unbelievably tall. Well, shit, I gotta cut it somehow then. All right. All right, so it's too tall. We're gonna have to cut it. And we just can't cut it the easy way. We have to cut it the long way. It should give room to this. Oh no! Oh, son of a bitch, man. Damn it. Thank you. 
Oh, man. So the thing fell, and look what it did. It busted the corner all up, which is exactly what I didn't want to happen. But thank God it's on this end and not that end, because that's the end that the camera will see. Y'all won't so much see that, but... Oh, shoot, what a day. All right, so let me keep going. Gotta keep it up. I'm trying to keep the screws and everything uniformed so that way I know exactly where everything is. Whoops. All right, and then this one I had here just to give me a reference on where they were in the middle. So I'm gonna put it there. All right, and then I need so you know cutting the board, you know this way is one thing. But cutting it this way is a completely another. So I'm going to have to figure out what I think I'll do is I'll take one of these longer boards and lay it across to try to give me a straight line. And then I'm just going to use a razor and try to cut it. Because if I try to do it freehand, I'll, uh, I'll just screw it up big time. And I can't, I can't do all that. So let's take one of these. And let's lay it down like that okay and let's see if it's straight or not we're just going to eyeball it up here like that make sure it's leveled with that because this is straight and that will tell me whether or not if the board is straight does the board look straight mm, kind of i mean yeah it does but also kind of like I think it's pretty straight right there so I'm just gonna cut it like that now what I need is something sharp oh my god for like a drywall razor knife it was 10 bucks I'm like what I'm not paying ten dollars for a knife or a don't you guys hate that when you have to pay like 10 15 to 20 dollars for a tool or yeah, a tool that you're gonna use one time and then throw it in the toolbox and never use it because it's some special little tool that you only need to use one freaking time. And they know that. They know that you're only gonna use it one time. So that's why they wanna get their 20 to $30 out of them. All right, so let's see here. Let's grab our sweet. Mm. Sweet tea. All right, what else do we need? We need our sweet tea. Oh, I need to put my wallet back in my pocket. That would help. What did I What did I come in here for, guys? I don't remember now. Oh, a knife. Something sharp to cut with. Let's see here. I think the truck's a little dirty. Think this will do it? I hope so, man. Long one. It always does that. Open this one up. Okay, so I gotta cut it and make sure that it fits and clears the garage door because it has to clear the garage door. One other thing I noticed that may be a problem is this thing. This this bar right here. See when it it hangs awfully low and when it comes by through there, it would actually hit the drywall as it goes through. So maybe I'll have to move the entire assembly that way um, but I really don't want to do that because all that's going to do is choke up my space and I don't want to go through all that so alright let's go ahead and cut this bad boy alright so we want to want to cut it and We want to cut it, but we want to do it real good. So I, I need to put some pressure on this so it doesn't go nowhere. Mm. 
Remember, always cut away from you. All right, we're just gonna press it down again. And just keep going. All right, so there it is. There's our line. Can y'all see it? All right, what we gotta do is we gotta break it like Chong Fu style and it should come off. It should break. Let me, uh, Look guys, I did a good job. I got a nice clean break all the way down through it. Now what I'm gonna have to do is take the knife and run back through and cut the paper. I didn't, apparently I didn't cut it thick enough to get the paper. Which is fine. Okay, so I went ahead and got the second one up I had to cut it twice to get it off um, and made sure that it cleared the tally. I put one screw in it, but as you can see, it's off. So I got to take that one screw out, slide it down, make it flush with this one, and then screw it in. And then once we're done with that, we will use the all-purpose plaster and patty up the middle of it here and, and go from there and do all that kind of good stuff. So, yes, shall we continue? So, all right, I don't think that's going anywhere, guys. I think we uh, mission accomplished time. What do you think? Looks good, right? And then I just, I guess what I'll have to do is, see, I left me a little bit of gap right here to slide the other drywall board in. And then as it comes up, it gets tight at the top there. But if you see, I can kind of flex it a little. So I may have to move it out. See this, if I, if I increase the angle of it, move it that way, move the board that way, it'll open it up a little and it will, it'll flex a little bit and bind. So if I close it in, that board will go out and then the unit will, it'll be snug together. But my only thing is where this fell and dropped and I'm not happy about that. That sucks, man did all this good hard work and for that to happen but all right anyway back to what we were doing we need to go outside and we need to get our supplies because we have to uh we have to make that batter up and i gotta put it in a like a dish or something and i'm not sure maybe i can just do it in the in the tub that it comes in ah yes the fresh outdoors our tree is getting pretty see i ain't got too much more shit outside no more oh look a broken tv gotta love that right all right let's see if i can get my own vehicle here open up the doors it's messy but it's my work truck what do you expect it's what i work in what did i need damn i got the work oh that's right we need our supplies I think they're uh, I think they're right here on the ground. All right, so we got our supplies and everything else that we need. Yeah, lovely. All right, so I think I'll use this one, or I don't know. I'm not sure how to. I'm, 
I'm not sure how to do this, so I guess we'll just do it one step at a time. And we'll do it together. So what if I put y'all over here like that? Alright, so I think what I do is I just kind of take a little bit and just kind of go like that because you want to fill in that void that's there because you're trying to make the two pieces of the drywall look as if it's one piece seamless as they call it um, and that's the desired look that we are going for when we make this channel now guys when i say we as in like you know we are going to do this and that we're going to build a studio and all this when i say we i'm talking about me and you us we because without you, there's no point in me doing all of this. So, thank you guys, because it's a lot of fun. Um, and I hope to one day, uh, you know, maybe have a million subscribers. But I think that will probably take me a hundred years to get a million subscribers. Because I'm, I'm not, I, I don't know. I, my channel, I guess, isn't that interesting. Although, I don't think my channel would be as successful as I am um, if I just did uh, graphics cards and motherboards and CPU reviews. I mean, because that's what all the other tech viewers do. You know, Kyle, Paul, Jay, that's what all of them do. They just review that shit. And, and they'll tell you that, you know, reviewing motherboards and graphics cards gets real old real quick and you can only do so many videos about a graphics card and that's why you see them guys doing other stuff go like that okay whoop just need a little bit not much So I have a little too much wax. See that right there? Now I know that's because of a few things, but what I've been trying to do is I just installed that one right there, and then I cut this piece and then installed it here, and that really made it tough. And then I got one more. Now I'm installing this one right here, so that way we can make sure that it is reinforced. Put it about, let's say maybe about right there. Does that look good to y'all? Whoop. Whoa. It's in there. I mean, it's it's definitely in there. It's good and strong. Now let's see if that took care of some of the wobble. Not a damn care in the world. All right, so I know it's that piece right there is what's causing a lot of the the flexing to go on but that's okay because once i get that other drywall piece put up that other side put up then i can go in and start doing this kind of stuff uh, joicing it so what we'll do is we'll re-screw it and then we'll run another one this way and one that way and then um once we're done with it i'm going to run a board across the top from that end to that end and then from this pole to the other pole on the top and that will keep it hopefully structurally sound as so that way and it'll allow me to hang the lighting and stuff that i want to hang 
Uh, but yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm pretty much good right now. I got most of what I wanted to do. I'm still waiting for this mud crap to dry before I can sand it. Um, so I don't know how long that'll be. It's I mean it's getting dry in some places, and then but where it's a little more thickerly coated, it's still a little wet. So all right, I'm. I think I'm good. I'm gonna clean off my knives and stuff and put this away. That way I don't have to worry about it drying out or anything. I try to find a smaller tub of this stuff, but this was the this was the only size they had. It was that or go bigger, and I didn't want to go too much bigger. Um, and we'll use our sanding brick for later. And then once we're done sanding and doing that, we take this and I believe we put it in water and go from there. Um, I don't have any missed messages or calls, I don't think. Great, now everybody knows the password to my phone. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching this uh, vlog video of us or me doing this. The only thing that there is left for me to do now is to clean the place up and then I'm done. So thank you so much for watching. Give me a like guys and as always y'all be cool and peace.